Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another day in paradise. Today's video is one I've wanted to make for quite a while but I've not been able to simply because I wanted to be 100% sure that what I'm about to discuss was definitely going to happen. Today it's time to reveal my plans for my epic ride home from Saudi Arabia back to the United Kingdom. So, the epic ride home. In previous videos, I've alluded to it, I've mentioned it, I've had a couple of little update videos to, uh, to, to give some progress reports on. But this is a trip that I've been thinking about and I've been planning, preparing for, for around about 12 to 18 months. Easily the last year since I bought the, uh, since I bought the Ducati Scrambler. And I'm so chuffed, I'm really, really chuffed that with barely two weeks left to go, I can now give a full rundown of where I'm going to be going, what I'm going to be doing, and how I'm going to be doing it. And I'm delighted to be able to share that with you guys. But I have all of my paperwork. I got the last bit of the paperwork, my carnet, the passage, passage, passage and I got my international driving permit from Jeddah last weekend. That was the last piece of the puzzle. I've now confirmed my transport from Egypt to Italy, and I've now been working on my route, and where I'm gonna be stopping and how long it's gonna take me. And that, because I know a lot of people have been asking when I'm gonna be coming back to the UK, when I expect to arrive back in the UK, and that is something that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So you might think I've been leaving it a little bit late to confirm all of the details. You might think it's a little bit late. Cutting it a little bit fine to get all of the last pieces of the puzzle in place. And you would be right, to be fair. But I've been waiting on the shipping schedule from the company in Alexandria in Egypt. And then once I've had that, it's been a real race to try and get all the other pieces into place. But we are two weeks, two weeks away from me jumping on the Ducati Scrambler and riding it back to the UK. And this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be starting the trip on Sunday, the 16th of July. Now, I've taken some security advice locally. I have my route planned basically I have four days to complete 2,200 kilometers worth of riding to end up handing the bike over to the shipping company in Alexandria in northern Egypt but because of the security advice I've been given because of the route that I'm taking which does take me near to some slightly iffy areas I'm not going to divulge what my exact route is but as I say I'm starting from my compound in Taif and by Thursday 20th of July I will be presenting myself, the bike and all of my paperwork to the shipping company in Alexandria. It's going to take me two to three days to get the bike all cleared from customs, do all the paperwork and get it loaded up onto the ferry that will be departing from Alexandria to Salerno in Italy on the 23rd of July. Now obviously once I've handed my bike over, I don't need to stick around in Alexandria, do I? So, as the 23rd of July also happens to be my birthday, I am going to be flying to Corfu. Now originally I was hoping that the boat from Egypt to Italy was going to take about three to four days. As it is, it's actually going to be five to six. So, after handing the bike over the day before, I've got a week to do something and basically amuse myself so I have taken the decision that I'm going to go off on a little summer holiday back to Corfu. Corfu is pretty special for me and I'm going there for two reasons. First reason it's actually cheaper for me to fly from Alexandria to Corfu via Athens 
book myself into a hotel for a week and then fly from Corfu to Naples, it's cheaper to do that than it is to fly direct from Alexandria to Naples. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But it's going to be bloody good fun. The second reason I'm going to Corfu is 15 years ago, as a fresh-faced 18-year-old, I moved out of home in Southampton for the very, very first time. I packed my bags. I knew that I was going to be joining the Royal Air Force in the autumn of that year. And I buggered off to Corfu for the summer to go and get a job in a bar out there. And I worked in Corfu, in Cavos, and it's going to be awesome to go back there. I've always wanted to go back to Corfu since I spent the summer working there in Cavos. And I'm basically going to pop my head into Cavos and pay it a visit and reminisce. No doubt I will share a bit of that with you, but ultimately I'm going there on my holiday, so there will be no updates really about the bike or the ride home whilst the bike's in transit and I'm on my holidays on me holly bobs so once I've finished my little uh, week's holiday summer holiday in the, on the beautiful island of Corfu it'll be time to fly across to Italy to Naples on Saturday the 29th of July to pick up my bike in Salerno which is the port town just outside of Naples now I'm kind of giving myself a couple of days to get that sorted because I don't know what state my bike's going to be in it might be a bit of faff getting all of the import registration paperwork sorted and basically I'm going to fly back on the 29th I'm hopefully going to pick the bike up on the 30th and then on the 31st of July I will be beginning my awesome ride through the Italian countryside from Salerno through Naples through Rome and up to Florence where I expect to be stopping the night. I think that's a pretty good day's ride. I might get a little bit further ahead if I can get the bike earlier, but at the moment the trip through Europe is a little bit flexible, but it is going to depend on when I actually collect the bike. And that means that on Tuesday the 1st of August I will be returning my Ducati Scrambler back to the factory in Bologna where she was originally built. I have done a bit of research into my VIN number to try and find out where it was built and it was built and assembled in Bologna so I am taking the bike back to her birthplace and that is going to be an awesome day. Tour around the Ducati factory. Ducati UK have put me in contact with uh, the Scrambler Ducati team at the factory in Bologna and I'm really hoping that is going to be a fantastic day. So my day at the factory will be Tuesday 1st of August. Wednesday the 2nd of August I will be heading northwest from Bologna and I will be taking in the Northern Italian Alps including the Stelvio Pass. I'm just going to let that sink in for a second. Top Gear's greatest driving road in the world will be getting ridden by me on my Ducati Scrambler and then I'm going to find somewhere to stay in the Northern Alps on the Wednesday night. Thursday it's my intention to go through Austria, Western Austria and I will end up in Munich. So that's going to be on Thursday the 3rd and then once I've hopefully spent some time in the company of Miss Red Renner and Phil Tonic, hopefully you guys are available to come out for a ride for me on an afternoon, welcome me to Munich. So I plan to leave Munich on Friday the 4th of August and then I will be making my way across to Caen in northern France. Now Caen according to Google Maps is 1100 kilometers away from Munich but this is where I'm going to ask you guys, I'm going to ask you guys for some help here. I don't know Germany I don't know Northern France, I don't know Holland and Belgium that well. So I'm looking for some recommendations on some awesome driving roads, awesome riding roads that I can enjoy to get me from Munich to Caen. Your help would be appreciated. I plan on allowing myself three days to get to Caen, 
So by Sunday the 6th of August I expect to have reached Calm from Munich. Again, that offers me a couple of opportunities. There is an overnight ferry from Calm that arrives in the UK on Monday the 7th at about 7 o'clock in the morning. Or alternatively, there are ferries during the day that should get me in uh, mid-afternoon, I think, off the top of my head. But either way, the question that a lot of people have asked me, when will I be returning to the UK? I will be arriving in the UK, assuming everything else goes to plan, on Monday the 7th of August. I'm really sorry guys, I know that's a working day, however, eh, I'm on holiday. <laughs> so I expect to be back in the UK on Monday the 7th, which means that I will have about nine days before I am expected to jump on a plane and head back to Saudi Arabia, which means Lumi's bike night on Wednesday the 9th. I will bring the Scrambler down to Lumi's, which will be awesome. I don't think Lumi's will have ever had a Saudi Arabian registered motorbike on its premises. It also means that I will be doing Southampton Bike Night in Southampton City Centre on Thursday the 10th of August. Again, I believe that I might be the very, very first person to travel to Southampton Bike Night from Saudi Arabia on a Saudi Arabian registered motorbike. So that will be good. And I hope that there will be a lot of people going, coming along. And uh, if you see me at Southampton Bike Night, if you see a very, very tired looking bloke with a Ducati Scrambler on Arabic plates, please, please, please feel free to come and say hello to me. Please come and talk to me. I will be delighted and relieved, I expect, to tell you about how my trip has gone. And that also means that the weekend of the 12th and the 13th, I think it is, again, I will be free and happy to come along to Lumi Smoke Cafe if anybody wants to come and say hello. I'm not going to pin down an exact date, although at this exact moment in time I'm a little bit more inclined to say Sunday the 13th. That weekend, I will say at the moment, Sunday the 13th of August, please, please feel free to pop down to Lumi's Motor Cafe and come and say hello. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is the general plan. I'll be leaving on Sunday the 16th of July. I will be handing my bike over to the shipping company in Alexandria to set sail on the 23rd of July. I expect to be picking her up on the 29th. 29th, 30th, 31st, those, that sort of area, and continuing my journey throughout Europe, including a day spent at the Ducati factory. I'll be doing Stelvio Pass, I'll be doing Munich, but I expect to be arriving back in the UK on Monday the 7th of August. Those of you who want to be kept up to date with what's going on, those who want to be kept up to date with pictures, with video, with updates of my progress there are a number of ways that you can do that i plan on doing a daily video at the end of each day explaining how the day has gone updating where i started where i finished what i've seen during the day what you guys can look forward to when i finally get round after the trip to editing all of these videos into a into a series and you can do that by hitting the subscribe button for my YouTube channel. You can also catch me on Twitter at Mr. Chip Murphy. You can do my Instagram at Mr. Chip Murphy. Same handle for both of those. And I have a Facebook page where I will also be posting all of my daily updates and I'll be posting my videos as well. If you search for DME Vlogs, you will find me. You will see my logo. But I implore you guys, those of you who want to be kept up to date, hit the subscribe button. And any of you who currently do subscribe to me, any of you who know about this trip, please tell as many people as you can. Share this video, like this video, comment on this video, try and get this one bumped up so as many people see it, see what I'm about to embark on, and you can all be part of the journey, you can all be part of the adventure. I want to share this trip with you guys. This is a trip of a lifetime for me. And I want you guys to be as much a part of it as I am 
so thank you very very much for watching I understand this probably isn't going to be one of my shorter videos but there's a lot of information that I think you guys will be interested in so thank you very very much for watching as I said let's try and get this as much exposure as possible please share this with your friends please tell people that this trip is going ahead many many people have said I am mad for doing this and they are not wrong and I will appreciate all of the goodwill and support that anybody has got to send to me so thank you very much Masalama.